Um, you know, the more we tested it, the more interesting this kind of opens up the tank lineup. I Agreed. think we made a tank tier list right now. Karki, that's a totally different video. <laughs> oh, sure. Well, we can only put one. Con we can only do one piece of content at a time. Looks like we, you're, you're you want, we can do a second. We can do a second video right now. Time. We can do a second video right now if you wanted to. That's two videos though. Okay, tank tier list. <laughs> All right. Do you want to do, do, do? we have like a fancy like template? Wait, were we actually doing this? Is it actual video? If you wanted to, I'm just saying. Um, honestly, you're probably better off talking to another tank player for their opinion. I have a completely biased opinion as a support. Dude, people, people got fucking mad at me when I did the last tank counter video, even though I kind of asked some tank players. They're like, you're a support player. You don't know what you're talking I, about. Like, oh, right, we'll, do, we'll do a mini one then. We'll do a mini one. Just for we'll like, cause it, the patch isn't just even out yet, so we don't even know. Yeah, just to, just to answer some people's questions. Like a really casual one off the top of my head, off the top of our head. I'm just gonna go back and spawn and just look at the list. Yeah, okay, all right, that works for me. Like that, all right. not like a. So the new meta, the new meta, depending on what it is, okay, if it turns into rush, if it turns into rush, Winston will be S tier. Diva, yes, because you can. Fit them in two comps, yep. right? Winston, uh, Diva, Rush, mm -hmm. or you can have an alternative Winston Zarya, which is a comp you would play against Arisa double shield comps because uh, Arisa comps tend to play together. Yep. And the whole reason why double bubble was a thing at one point was to actually play against double shield because you just farm primals instantly and give your Zarya energy. So there's kind of a, a, a combat triangle. I said this at triangle the beginning. Regard. But you guys remember like chat? Mirror, like Flats was saying earlier. Like Winston Diva is probably the thing. Let's S tier. Yep. Anyways, go ahead. Winston Diva will likely be the S tier tanks. In a this is in the there's like two categories here in the rush format. I think Zarya will be an A tier. A tier because no, actually no. Sorry, I'm gonna take that back. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna say Zarya is B tier. Zarya yeah, will okay. be B tier because it will work with the the Winston really really well in the the double bubble. But outside of that, yeah, uh, outside much, of that, Diva's just better. So it'll still have its value. Um, but unless that that rush comp somehow incorporates, uh, you know, something else that that Zarya can help with, I don't know what that could end up being. Um, I don't know if somehow you know we start playing Ana or something like that it's something that you know zarya does decent against as well as you know helps out with because she doesn't need as much uh, uh sustained healing she can kind of like make a lot of it on her own i think that she's like a b tier zarya is like b tier okay um let's talk orissa i okay orissa orissa okay, orissa with orissa without the with a rush comp mentality in mind uh i would say if we're if we think it's going to be a rush comp i think arissa would be somewhere in the range of a b to c tier and that, and, and that's a little spicy so the reason i think arissa would be b to c tier if the rush becomes meta is because Orissa when rush was meta was only good on maps like Junker Town, Havana, which are very long sightline maps where it takes a long distance to get to her. So she can put out a lot of damage. Now, I don't know how much the headshot thing is going to, is going to play into it because, um, if anything, this just means Arissa doesn't die as fast anymore. It's about what plays around the Arissa. So when you play double shield, you play double sniper, right? You play double sniper or you play like a Kree comp to keep the, the, the uh, uh, double bubble away or whatever it was. But what would be re-enabled with the current Arissa? Um, I think you might see Arissa Diva. I think you might see Sigma Arissa. Um, I, think I think this, I think this Arissa like headshot buff kind of brings back the double shield in some capacity to mm -hmm. make up for the sig nerf since you can't flash the shield as quickly anymore mm -hmm. that downtime between sigma shields is kind of now offset by Arissa just hard tanking a bit longer with the fortify mm -hmm. to give your sigma time to reshield so we could 
totally see the double shield back. Interesting that you brought up the Arisa Diva, actually. I didn't think too much about that. Um, Arisa Diva kind of mitigates any sort of Arisa Hog pulled pork ideas with it. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, if Diva ends up being like the play to it, I feel like Arisa Hog's kind of like eh. Yeah. Just because a good Diva would just ruin that combo completely if you're banking off that to win. Yep. Um, I think Hog is like a D tier. Easily D tier. I actually think Hog kind of fell down. In this patch, I think the biggest loser is Hog. Mm -hmm. I can't see where Hog fits right now if the other heroes become meta, especially with the Winston and Arissa buffs and the ball nerfs. Because you're gonna you're just gonna play Sigma Arissa or Diva Arissa. And Hog doesn't work with either of those because Sigma blocks the hooks really well. Um even with the nerf, most of the good Sigmas I know just sit there and they just hold their shield waiting for the hook to go for the hook anyways. You know what I mean? So it's like yeah, yeah. it becomes the eternal battle of don't use your shield versus don't use your hook. And it's like, well, that's the whole point of Hog. So you kind of just lose at that point because uh, Sigma can still do really good damage, has his suck, has a stun. And if he's not using his shield, then, you know, well, then Hog's not using his hook, you know, um, yep. and, and combos with Arissa already really well, enables Bat better. Um, it, it counters Ana because, you know, if Hog Arissa is meta, then you probably see, you know, you probably see BAP more often than not, but Ana at least becomes viable, uh, in certain ways where like her nade is really good because the Ana, the shield is still made of paper, right? Like, or as a shield is right. still terrible. If you can need the Hog, you can need the, Ar the Arissa, whatever it is, you at least give an opening there. So like you could either be running BAP Ana, you could be running... Uh, on a uh, Zen, you could running Bap Zen, you could be running Bap Brig. There's a lot of things you could run there against that comp, so it's just not really a good comp uh, overall. So a Hog is probably the the biggest loser in either like D or F tier, honestly. Um. So yeah, so the, we just talking about Sigma. I would say Sigma. Oh, Sigma is one of those heroes that you can never count out. You can never count out a Sigma at this point. I oh, would wait, wait, we're still touching on Arissa. Uh, we didn't talk too much about Arissa Ryan. I don't know. Oh, why. Yeah, yeah. I have a feeling Arissa Ryan is not bad, but that's just my like weird take on it. I've always been a fan of that comp. Mm -hmm. Um, I saw some teams run it. I like. I think that's the only comp that Ryan would fit in. I don't think you ever run like Ryan Zarya or anything anymore when like Arissa is available or like if you're running Zarya, I think you just run the the monkey with it these days. If you're gonna ever run a Ryan, it might just be with Arissa, but that I just might be totally off. There. It has no, it has um, potential. It definitely could have potential. Um, mm -hmm. uh, especially on like especially if you're playing defensively, you know, playing Ryan comp defensively in ranked is really tough because you know. If you most of the time, if you play like aggressive defense, Ryan comp on un ranked, unless you have five, six people calming at once, you probably just yeah. f two or three people feed and it's GG, you yeah, know. So that's why this kind of whole like since you can stampede as Arissa, you can she can barrel in with the Ryan, you know, bring them together. You have to run a Lucia with this. Just though. existing too is really, really tough, you know. Um, but I think that also, I think that conversation though brings back. Uh, you know, what are you running with it? Because at that point, if you're running the Stampede, you're probably running Reaper and something else. So you probably I run would the say like Reaper, Reaper, Sombra, Lucio. I think Lucio Bap would be core with the uh, Ryan Arissa, mm -hmm. and then you can flex off the, the DPSs depending on what you need. Well, but I think it's super powerful. That's well, so let me ask you then: What do you think is more powerful, Arissa Ryan, or do you think Winston Diva Ryan? Winston Diva Rush. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I think, I think that it has potential, but I think the Winston Diva comp just kind of poops on it. But there's also the other factor that Diva, D, I mean, Diva Ryan would shit on it too, because, mm -hmm. um, you know, Diva Ryan is just a better version where they have at least some synergy already. You know, where like they can kind of already work together. And be able to to run over that comp. Arissa, I think Arissa's very much become a very selfish tank, which is very different than what she originally was. She was very much bunker. Everybody sits around the shields. She just AFKs. Yeah. Now it's much more fast paced, a higher rate of fire gun. She lives over anyone else. Um, and if you prioritize healing, like she's gonna start pooling more. You need more resources put into her to like make use of this new buff, in my opinion. Which yeah. would mean. I, DPSs you play kind of have to be a bit more self-sufficient, which is why I do think like Sombra would be good because she can kind of get out on her own and heal herself out. Mm -hmm. Like the, the biggest, the biggest thing is uh, like resource allocation when playing supports. Like some teams, like 
whenever I play support and like both the DPS and tanks require too many resources together, it usually just doesn't end well. Yep. Like that's why like Ball and Tracer were meta for a while, just because they were often able to do things on their own, which is why people are like, how do you run Mercy Zen? There's so little healing, but like, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they don't require as many resources because they can get out, find health packs and do their own thing. So you didn't need as much like raw healing potential. I think that's the biggest trap like lower elo players fall into is they think comps just because they don't have that much like raw healing output, it's inherently bad. You mm -hmm. have to understand the theory behind that sort of allocation. Um, yeah, 100%. 100%. So Arisa is a very resource hungry hero. So you have to think about that. You're not going to probably not going to be running anything like, I don't know, Lucio Zen or something or like Zen Mercy with it. I think just because. I think uh, to your point though is honestly people kind of just kind of started to leave the Arisa out and to ha out to dry a mm -hmm. lot of times because like it was way better to just pocket the snipers and hope your tanks could just figure it the fuck out you know but yeah. this is just lets her live more so mm, true so then she doesn't require as many resources because she lives longer that's also a different way to think about it that's right. yeah you could also like just let a sack the Arisa and then go for the res if you play the low resource healing kind of comp mm-hmm if worst case they spend all these resources healing the Arissa, you re-engage let the mercy res and she's back in it i don't know there's actually a few ways to think about it yeah that's for sure i'm i'm, I'm honestly really excited all of a sudden to, to play this hmm. yeah i was actually kind of worried at the battle cattle but i think this is actually like i was televisioning on the buff itself making Arissa op but then you have to think it also opens up to the you know the the, the combat triangle the tic-tac-toe but mm -hmm. because Arissa's played more you can also like run, you know, the, the, the other comps that quote unquote counter it, the, the rush stuff. Winston did get a buff too. Yep. I mean, yeah, you know. So where would you throw Ryan? If we're talking rush. B. You can also like yes, you can rush with like Winston Diva. You can also rush with Ryan in theory too. Like just fucking go ahead I agree. and just swing like crazy. So yep. like yeah, the Winston sorry, Diva Ryan or like, you know ryan arissa or i mean i guess if it's king's row you can have the ryan zarya agreement you know what i mean <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> um i would put him at b okay i i it's just me i would i would lean from b to now we're talking about if rush becomes the standard comp to a but if it doesn't become it then b to c so i think b is a decent, decent mm -hmm. place to be um no pun intended because uh you know ryan brings a lot more damage than winston does with like just like bursts but knowing how overwatch works and knowing how high level play always works you don't need the max amount of each thing like if that was the case we'd all run bastion junk on a bap uh and then depending on like health pools like ball diva or shields Ryan sigma you know what i mean like but it doesn't work like that we don't need the maximum raw numbers um right. so like winston diva like you know if the old way it used to work was the offensive winston would kind of jump in between the front line and the back line of the two and then bubble and then they would try to kill the tanks off like really quick with the rush and then the tanks were on the defensive side either had to jump back and give space and, and keep playing with their support or they were they'd play aggressive on their like the tanks that just engaged and let the supports crush them from behind and now all of a sudden you've got like a little pincer defensively you get what i mean um yeah, yeah, yeah. so but but with that though ryan doesn't fit because if ryan turns around to start swinging on those tanks he'll get one or two but then he blows up you know, Winston, though, on the other hand, can drop the bubble, which, you know, already, you know, one of the biggest things in Overwatch is why we everyone complained about Arissa was Arissa could do everything at once. She could shoot, she could shield, she could pull, she could fortify, right, all at once. Well, Ryan is a hero that had to swing or shield, right? So, like, in this case, the reason why a couple months ago we played Winston, Diva, Ryan, I mean, sorry, Winston, Diva, Somber, Reaper Rush over Ryan, Diva Rush was the majority of the time you you would understand how to 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 exploit the Rhine and make him go boom. Yeah. Um it didn't it's not saying it didn't ever work. It definitely worked. I definitely made it work. You know, I played it a lot. But that was typically just in ranked, you know, and and, and ranked is can be a very different beast than uh than like high or like you in know high level play. Yeah. Yeah. So like I think you'll probably see more Winston Diva than Rhine. Um uh, so I'd say B is fair. I think a B is fair. 
Yeah. Uh, now the last one, ball. What do you think? Uh, what do you think about this? This thing is done mm. the ball. Um. I mean, the only thing they changed was the boop. Mm -hmm. Um. But that changed the dynamic of how he's used again, because if if we go into rush or we go into double shield. Uh, ball was good against double shield. Yes. I always thought so because of the boop disruption. Correct. But now the boop is. But if you dis, I mean, what? Who are the two targets he always tried to disrupt? It was the it was the Sigma and the Arissa, right? Like Sigma if you Arisa, if you, you, if you get him off high ground, fuck yeah, up there, you boop like, the Arissa and position. she died, right? But now yeah, she now she's come to kill you, like you know, like yeah. you only have to be able to get the Sigma now, I guess. So like, does that make him less viable? I'd argue, yeah. You I'd know? argue yes too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. The, the, I don't know. I I think I'd give him. A, I think I'd say he's somewhere between C and B. I still think he's like a very solo queue esque like hero. Like he can do everything on his own. He can make a ton of space. He's an opportunist. He can pick squishies off. He doesn't quote unquote require as many resources since he could obviously like roll for health packs. Um, oddly enough. I remember uh, when I did a video with Ball Overwatch. I think he said one of his favorite tanking pairs back in the day was Orisa Ball. You go for the the Orisa pull, and then you go for the like double boops, mm -hmm. or a, do some sort of play with it, like a pull slam or pull sort of uh, boop. With Orisa being strong, I mean, I guess you could. It, there might be room for that, like a ball uh, a ball Orisa comp, but. That's tough to say. I mean, I, I say one person's opinion. Of I think it'll be C I mean, B. It's here because the the two options I think the metas that we're gonna get get is gonna be rush and we're either gonna yeah. get a reaper somber rush and yeah. if you're running if your team runs ball into reaper sombra I don't know I, and rush stuff like ball has trouble killing like Moira's Lucio's are hard to kill a uh, reaper yeah. sombra is hard to kill on your own yeah like ball all of a sudden falls like really f falls flat Kappa. Falls flat okay. against uh, <laughs> against that composition. So if that's meta, ball immediately falls down to like C, C tier. Yeah, but. and even in double shield, even in double shield, I think that he still would be good. Um, but I, I I'm more curious on how this whole Orisa dynamic is going to end up working. Like I I, I yeah. think it's too early to tell how he'll be versus double shield because we don't know yeah. what kind of resources you're going to even put in your Orisa anymore. Like you might not even put like any. You just might be like okay. Like, uh, they've come to kill you. Well, fight them off. You've got it. And it's like, okay. And just pop fortify. And all of a sudden you're just six V one running out of their back line. Cause you got booped in, but you survive, you know? Mm. Yeah. We're gonna have to wait. till like the, the pro team starts scrimming on it. What we see on ladder it, everything will kind of like trickle downwards, but these are all just like initial is it knee jerk reaction. These are all just initial like thoughts. Like mm -hmm. at, at the end of the day, nothing is set in stone yet. This is all just theory behind it, but true. Um, you you gotta leave it up to some of the pro analysts, which will like, like the tier two, the tier one people will figure it out. Then they'll start playing it in ranked, and then that'll transcend down to yep. us, and then it'll slowly trickle down to everybody else. I've so. got Beaver in my chat right now saying Ball will still be S tier, laughing to himself because of the solo key players uh, won't play Re a Reaper Sombra all day long. Which he's got yeah. a point, but but that's he's not the point. point. We're not talking about player psychology here. We're talking about how good the heroes are versus the meta. Well, that's like, what we're talking strength about right now. Like I mean, at the end of the day, solo key people will play whatever the hell they want. Yeah. But if you're already, if you have one. Random like one trick on your team, you're not gonna pull and pull play the meta comp just because you'd have to like play around whatever that person plays anyways. But this is all just theory. True, true. Theory, theory, theory. Did we miss anybody? No, I think that was pretty good. Yeah, that was pretty good too. Good run. Good run. It takes. We take those.